Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Anthony. Anthony, can you stop zooming in on your face like that? It's just a little bit creepy, mate. Okay, I won't do it again. I promise. You guys must really hate me. But anyways, today I'm going to be bringing you all changes that you never noticed in Minecraft. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video, then be sure to give this video a like. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. I hope you all enjoy it. Steve, otherwise known as the player, is the main protagonist for Minecraft. But did you know that Steve has gone through some changes over time? So from Minecraft Pre-Classic all the way up to Minecraft Alpha, the default skin for Steve was actually slightly different as it had a beard. But then in the Minecraft Beta 1.0 update, the default texture for the player or Steve was replaced with a beardless version. Now the bearded version of the Steve skin is still obtainable because you can just download it from a bunch of skin websites. So we all know that opening Minecraft itself greets you with the Mojang logo before taking you to the title screen. But did you also know that that Mojang logo that you're greeted with has actually been changed four times in Minecraft's development? The first Mojang logo you see on screen greeted the user before the title screen from the early stages of Alpha all the way up to Beta 1.3. The next Mojang logo you see on screen was used from Beta 1.3 all the way up to Beta 1.7. The logo was then changed for a third time in Beta 1.8 and it was used all the way up to Minecraft 1.7. But then in the Minecraft 1.8 update it was changed for a fourth and final time and it is still the logo that we are using today. Creative mode was added in the Minecraft Beta 1.8 update and there have been various changes made to the creative inventory itself. So from Beta 1.8 all the way up to Minecraft 1.2 the creative inventory looked like this and it was just a single list of blocks and items with no access to the survival inventory except when using crafting tables or similar blocks. But in the Minecraft 1.8 3.1 update, the inventory was changed to the more recognisable creative inventory that we have today, but it still went through some changes. So from Minecraft 1.3 all the way up to Minecraft 1.6, the decoration blocks item was displayed as a rose. But when the Minecraft 1.7.2 update was released, the rose was removed from the game and the decoration blocks item was changed to a peony as the rose was no longer in the game. Stairs were added in the alpha version of Minecraft, starting off with only wooden and cobblestone stairs but there are many different types of them today and there are also a few changes that some of you might not have noticed. For example from Minecraft Alpha all the way up to Minecraft 1.7.2 cobblestone stairs were actually named stone stairs and it took Mojang over four years to fix this. But yeah in the Minecraft 1.8 update cobblestone stairs were renamed from stone stairs to cobblestone stairs. Another change that some of you might not have noticed is that in the Minecraft 1.9 combat update stairs have now been rotated 90 degrees in the inventory. Here is a comparison of what stairs looked like prior to 1.9 and then in 1.9. The Enderman was added in the Minecraft Beta 1.8 update and they've definitely gone through some changes over time. The first change made to Enderman is that in the pre-release version of Minecraft 1.8 they originally had green eyes and emitted black smoke instead of having purple particles and purple eyes. Another change that was made to the Enderman is that they wouldn't drop the block they were holding when killed but in the Minecraft 1.9 update they actually do drop the block they're holding. The baby pig was first added in the Minecraft 1.0 update and there was a very interesting feature that you could do with them for a short amount of time. So when the baby pig was first added you were actually able to ride them by using saddles. But when the Minecraft 1.2.4 update was released you were still able to put the saddle on the pig but you weren't able to ride it. Now the reason I think some people might not really know this change is because it was only in the game for a short amount of time. Potion brewing was added in the Minecraft Beta 1.9 update but there was something very interesting about brewing at the time. So as you guys can see on screen in the Minecraft Beta 1.9 update potions were originally brewed in cauldrons but when the brewing stand was added in the Minecraft 1.0 update it was changed to where potions would now be brewed in the brewing stand of course. Another change that some of you might not have noticed is that in the Minecraft 1.9 update the skeleton has a 5% chance to spawn with a bow in their left hand as opposed to spawning with the bow in their right hand 95% of the time. So yeah, definitely look out for that small chance of the skeleton spawning with the bow in their left hand. Minecraft Hardcore was added in the Minecraft 1.0 update and it is a game mode where your difficulty is locked to the hardest difficulty and it was previously known for your world being deleted when you died. But in the Minecraft 1.9 update, rather than the world being deleted upon death, the player would 
should actually be put into spectator mode so they can actually look at the world for a last time. The final change we have on our list that you might not have noticed is going to be quite a sad one for some players. So prior to the Minecraft 1.9 update, you were actually able to craft the enchanted golden apple by using golden blocks and an apple. But sadly, in the Minecraft 1.9 combat update, the crafting recipe for the enchanted golden apple has now been removed. But not to worry everybody, you can still obtain them in survival mode as there is a 2.6% chance you can find them in desert temple chests, a 3.1% chance in dungeon chests, and a 1.4% chance in abandoned mineshaft chests. When the new creative menu was introduced in the Minecraft 1.3.1 update, there was a slight change made to the transportation tab of the menu. So when the creative menu was first introduced, you can see that the powered rail is actually powered. But then in the Minecraft 1.5.1 update, the powered rail icon in the creative menu was changed to be unpowered. Upon opening the menu screen for Minecraft, there is a 1 in 10,000 chance that the menu screen will look different. That's right, what I mean by this, there is a 1 in 10,000 or 0.01% chance that the title screen will display Mint's Raft instead of Minecraft. Now personally, I think it's very difficult to spot and it might have already happened to you guys already because most players don't really seem to take a second glance at the Minecraft logo. In the Minecraft 1.8 update, there was a slight change made to all the mobs in the game where they would run away from creepers when the creeper was about to explode. But for some reason, this feature didn't last too long as in the Minecraft 1.8.1 update, the feature where mobs ran away from creepers was removed. A drastic change was made to the creeper as back in the earlier days of Minecraft, it actually had a different method of attacking and it also died differently. That's right, in the survival test version of Minecraft, the creeper actually had a melee attack and actually hit the player. They would also only explode when you killed them and not when they got close to you. But we now know creepers today as those things that sneak up behind you, blow up and pretty much ruin your day I guess. Mob heads were added in the Minecraft 1.4.2 update and there was a pretty interesting change made to them. So when they were first added into the game, they were displayed as having their own unique sprite and texture in the inventory. But in the Minecraft 1.8 update, this was changed to where player and mob heads in inventories would now display as blocks. There are a few minor changes made to some of the paintings in Minecraft that some of you might not have noticed. Take a look. The end crystal was added in the Minecraft 1.0 update and they are the things that spawn on top of obsidian pillars in the end where you have to destroy them in order to defeat the dragon. But some people might not know that in the Minecraft 1.9 update you are actually able to craft them by using gas tears, eyes of enders and glass. Just do the following. Another change that some players might not notice is the fact that in the 1.9 update dead bushes actually drop sticks. Now the reason I personally think not many people would know this is because they're dead bushes. No one's gonna break them. They're just there. The hay bale was added in the Minecraft 1.6.1 update, but a slight change was made to it in the Minecraft 1.9 update. So in the 1.9 update, falling onto a hay bale does only 20% of the normal fall damage. So pretty much, you take hardly any damage when falling onto hay bale. The ability to breed different animals in Minecraft was added in the Minecraft 1.0 update. Now, the items used to breed certain mobs in Minecraft have actually gone through some changes. So when breeding was first added in Minecraft 1.0, chickens were bred with wheat. But then in the Minecraft 1.4.2 update, this was changed to where chickens would use wheat seeds, melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, and nether wart. But then in the Minecraft 1.8 update, chickens could no longer be bred using melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, or nether wart, and could only be bred using wheat seeds. But then in the Minecraft 1.9 update, a final change was made to chicken breeding, where they would use melon and and pumpkin seeds again, but they would also use an additional beetroot seeds. Oh, and they still use the wheat seeds as well, so don't forget about that. So yeah, it's safe to say that they've changed breeding items around a lot. The stronghold naturally generated structure themselves were added in the Minecraft Beta 1.8 update, but the end portals that spawn inside of them weren't added until Beta 1.9. Now the change I want to go over was a change that was made to the end portals that spawn inside of the strongholds. So the end portal frames for the end portals themselves were, as I said, added in Beta 1.9, 
fine, but they used to have an old and very strange looking texture. So the end portal frame itself originally used a light blue texture with transparent patches. There were two different versions of this texture. Firstly, there was a cracked one, which would basically be the one that didn't have an eye of ender into it yet. And then you would have the second texture, which would be the one that had the eye of ender in it. But then the texture for the end portal frames were changed in the Minecraft 1.0 update to what we know and love today. The NPC village was added in the Minecraft beta 1.8 update and there was a very minor change made to the village that some people might not have really known about. So before the Minecraft 1.3 update, any village that spawned in a desert biome was spawned to spawn with wood and cobblestone instead of the desert villages that we have in Minecraft today. But then of course in the Minecraft 1.3 update, it was changed to where the regular villages that spawned in desert biomes was changed to desert villages that were made out of sandstone. The abandoned mineshaft was added in the Minecraft beta 1.8 update and it definitely went through some minor changes that some players wouldn't have noticed. So in the earlier updates of Minecraft beta 1.8, the support beams for the abandoned mineshaft was actually made out of wooden planks instead of the oak fences. But then in the Minecraft beta 1.8.1 update, it was changed to where the beam supported in the abandoned mineshaft was changed to the fences. So yeah, a pretty minor change, but still a very interesting one. Going back onto the topic of strongholds in Minecraft, a very big change to them was made in the Minecraft 1.9 update. So prior to the Minecraft 1.9 update, only a total of three strongholds would actually spawn in your world, making them very rare. But then in the Minecraft 1.9 update, it was changed from three strongholds spawning per world to 128. So yeah, 128 strongholds per world is quite a lot if you ask me. The Desert Temple was added in the Minecraft 1.3.1 update and it went through a very minor change in the Minecraft 1.8 update that some people might not have noticed. So prior to the Minecraft 1.8 update, Desert Temples actually used to spawn with wool inside of them and on the outside of course. But then in the Minecraft 1.8 update, it was changed to where Desert Temples would now spawn spawn with stained clay instead of wool. A very minor change I know, but I had to throw that in there. So from Minecraft in dev all the way up to the beta 1.4 update, there was a feature in the game where the player was able to place and climb ladders that were spaced every other block and it would look like this. Now this was a very cool but overpowered feature because players didn't have to use as many ladders to climb to their destination. But then of course in the beta 1.5 update, the ladder mechanic were changed to where the player could no longer climb ladders spaced every other block. Villagers were added in the Minecraft beta 1.9 update and there was actually one villager skin that remained unused since the addition of villagers. Now the unused villager skin was known as the generic villager or as some like to call it the green villager. Now players were of course able to spawn this villager in using commands but it could never be found naturally spawning in your Minecraft world. Now this of course has since been changed as in the upcoming Minecraft 1.11 update generic villagers have been added into the game to naturally spawn in your world. Now the only place where you'll find them spawning in your Minecraft world is of course in NPC villagers however they are the only villager you are not able to trade with. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft in the survival test version of the game there was a really useful feature in the game when it came to using TNT. So currently in Minecraft today, if you activate TNT, there is no way to stop it from exploding. You're basically done for at that point. However, in the survival test version of Minecraft, players were actually able to cancel the detonation of the activated TNT by simply hitting it for the second time. That's right, you guys heard me correctly, you were actually able to defuse the TNT, but sadly this feature was removed for whatever reason. Nice voice crack, Anthony. Emerald Ore was added in the Minecraft 1.3 update and it's a rare type of ore that can only be found in veins of one in extreme hills biomes. However, in the Minecraft 1.3 snapshots, emeralds were actually a lot more common and easy to find as they generated in veins of up to 10 blocks. Now Jeb of course changed the emeralds to generate in veins of one due to the number of complaints by users about emeralds being too easy to find which I thought was a nice change. The next change we have on our list is all to do with wooden slabs. So from Minecraft in dev all the way up to the Minecraft 1.2 update, wooden slabs could only be collected and obtained
obtained by using a pickaxe. However, in the Minecraft 1.3 update, the developers of the game of course realised that obtaining wooden slabs with a pickaxe didn't really make sense, so they therefore changed it to where you obtain the wooden slab by using an axe rather than a pickaxe. Boats were added in the alpha phase of Minecraft and it's safe to say they've gone through many changes over time. The first change made to boats is that originally from Minecraft Alpha to Minecraft 1.2, boats would drop wood planks and sticks if broken by the player, which was of course a really annoying feature. But then of course, in the Minecraft 1.3 update, this was changed to where the boat would drop their item instead. Thank you so much Mojang for making that a thing. You had no idea how annoying it was to get stupid sticks and wooden planks back when I broke my boat. The second change that was made to boats that not a lot of people really knew about was that its crafting recipe was actually changed at one point. So we all know that boats are crafted by using five wooden planks, but in the snapshot phase of Minecraft 1.9, the boat's crafting recipe was altered to have an additional wooden shovel along with the five wooden planks it needs in order to craft it. However, this crafting recipe only remained in the game for a short time as the recipe was reverted back to the original crafting recipe in a later 1.9 snapshot. Minecraft has been around for over seven years, which is absolutely insane to me. Now, this of course means that the main menu screen has gone through many changes over time. So the menu screen was first added in Minecraft InDev, and this is what it looked like. Now, you can see it's very different as there's a dirt background, a generate new level button that allows you to customize your world, a load level button, and a play tutorial level button, which wasn't playable at all. Now, in the Minecraft InDev update, the menu went through some changes. Now, the dirt background, of course, remained the same, but the generate new level button was replaced by a single player button that allowed you to create five different worlds, and the load level button was replaced by a multiplayer button which wasn't playable at the time. Now, the Minecraft InDev menu screen remained almost the same all the way up to the beta 1.3 update until the cobblestone Minecraft logo was changed to the logo we have in Minecraft today. Now, in the beta 1.8 update, the title screen was completely revamped, replacing the dirt background with an animated background, and the menu screen has looked like this ever since, minus a few buttons being changed, of course. But yeah, as you saw, the menu has gone through many changes. Wolves were added in the beta 1.4 update, and they've remained pretty much exactly the same over the years of them being in the game. However, with that being said, they have had some interesting interesting changes made to them, and the first change made to wolves is that in older versions of Minecraft, hostile wolves would actually attack the player in peaceful mode. I guess that feature didn't make the player's world as peaceful as they thought it would be. But then of course, in later versions of Minecraft, this was changed to where a wild wolf won't deal damage to you on peaceful difficulty, but will remain the hostile appearance and run at the player anyway. So yeah, wolves actually used to deal damage to players on peaceful mode. The other change that was made to wolves is all to do with the default color color a tamed wolf is given when it's tamed. So for a very long time, the color of the color for a tamed wolf would be red by default when it's tamed. But then for some reason in the Minecraft 1.8 update, this was changed to where the default color color for a tamed wolf was orange. But then in the Minecraft 1.8 update, this change was reverted back to the original color color. Make your mind up, Mojang, come on. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, there used to be a really interesting feature with creative mode when it came to mob spawning. So from beta 1.8 all the way up to the Minecraft 1.5 update, hostile mobs like creepers for example would follow and try to attack the player when hit in creative mode. This pretty much meant you could easily spawn in a creeper in creative mode and lead it to your friend's house without taking any damage yourself. Trust me, I used to do it a lot when the feature was still in the game. But then of course, in the Minecraft 1.6 update, this feature was of course removed from the game and I'm not really surprised to be honest, it was pretty ridiculous. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, in the alpha phase of the game, the furnace used to have an old texture. That's right, as you can see on screen, the top part of the furnace's texture is actually different as it shared the exact same texture as stone. This was a very effective way to hide the furnace 
this from friends due to the fact that you could blend them in with surrounding stone in a cave. But then of course in the beta 1.0 update the furnace texture was changed to how it looks today. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, in the early stages of Minecraft Alpha, there used to be a really annoying feature in the game when it came to placing furnaces. Now this annoying feature was that placing a furnace would always place the furnace facing away from the player rather than facing the player. Now why is this annoying you might be wondering? Well placing a furnace in your house in the alpha stages of Minecraft couldn't be any more irritating due to the fact that it would always face the wrong way inside of your home meaning it would just look really weird. But then in the later stages of Minecraft alpha this was of course fixed as placing furnaces would now face towards the player when placed rather than away. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft from Minecraft alpha all the way up to the Minecraft 1.2 update furnaces actually used to give out light all around them. But then in the Minecraft 1.4 update this was of course changed to where furnaces would only give out light in front of them. The very first texture for the leather armor was actually taken from one of Notch's previous games known as Legend of the Chambered. As you can see on screen you can see the leather armor texture that was ripped straight from Legend of the Chambered and implemented into the earlier stages of Minecraft but the texture for the leather armor was actually changed quite a few times and I will get into that now. So as I said the leather armor has gone through various different texture changes and the first texture given to the armor was of course the texture ripped straight from Legend of the Chambered. But then during the snapshots of Minecraft 1.4 they actually changed the texture of the leather armor to make it slightly darker so that players were able to see their dyed armor a lot better as the ability to dye armor was added. The texture was then changed and tweaked in the final Minecraft 1.4 update to have non-dyed parts. This change was implemented so that players can distinguish between other types of armor and similarly colored leather armor. So we all know that breaking a log off a tree will drop the log itself but back in the earlier days of Minecraft this was not the case. That's right in the survival test version of Minecraft breaking a log off a tree would actually drop three to five wooden planks instead of the log itself. This actually meant that the player was able to have more wood as you were able to get up to five wooden planks from one log whereas in Minecraft today putting a log in the crafting table always gives the player four wooden planks. So we all know that in Minecraft today that mining the iron ore with a stone pickaxe or a buff will give you the iron ore block itself to later smell in the furnace to give you iron ingot. But back in the earlier days of Minecraft in the Minecraft survival test this was not the case as mining the iron ore block actually gave you a different item. That's right mining the iron ore in the survival test version of Minecraft actually gave the player one to three iron blocks when mined. But this was of course changed in Minecraft indev as iron ingot was added. Glowstone was added in the Minecraft alpha 1.2 update but it was actually a lot harder to obtain it due to the fact that the amount of glowstone dust dropped when mined was actually different. That's right from alpha 1.2 to beta 1.5 mining glowstone would only drop one glowstone dust and since in the alpha 1.2 update you needed nine glowstone dust to craft glowstone instead of four it made it a lot harder to obtain it. But then of course in the beta 1.6 update the amount of glowstone dust dropped was changed to drop two to four making it a lot easier to craft as it's more common. Coal ore was added in the survival test version of Minecraft and the item that it dropped when mined was actually very strange. So since coal wasn't added until the Minecraft indev update Mojang actually added a placeholder item to drop from the coal ore when it was mined in the survival test version of Minecraft. So mining coal ore in the survival test version actually resulted in dropping stone slabs instead of coal. But then of course in the in-dev version of Minecraft this was changed to how it is today where when you mine coal ore you of course get coal. But anyways that just about concludes today's video about 50 random things that have changed in Minecraft everybody. I really hope you all enjoyed it and or found it informative. Now if you guys couldn't tell by my voice I'm still a little bit sick. I'm still recovering but I will be back to making lots of videos very soon so thank you all for sticking with me. I really appreciate it but I'm gonna go now so thank you all so much for watching the video. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Katie, your new stickers on your Etsy store look amazing!